schooling was in theme park design. Come on! From that perspective, this place is masterfully done. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> oh dear, get it. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the flower lady is gonna dance for us. Waltz. I wanna die. So this video is gonna be about a theme park in the Netherlands called Efteling. If you're a fan of artists like Brian Froud, or really any 80s fantasy movie, or even original source material fairy tales, this might be the park for you. Yeah, I feel like I go mad with power at least once on every adventure for some reason, and we found it. So a lot of the fairy tales at the park kept true to the source material. Like the Cinderella chopping off her own feet. Like that source material. We're gonna have a whole Pinocchio section. Where are we gonna put Pinocchio? On the brink of death in a whale. So this trip began because I saw a video from my friend the Azrai about films that inspired their art. From prop and costume creation to my visual art, storytelling and character creation, just so much of my life comes from these movies a film called Mirror Mask, Hook, 1973's Fantastic Planet, Ladyhawk, The Labyrinth. What else was on there? The, the Last Unicorn? The Labyrinth, The Dark Crystal, there's ones like The Last Unicorn. Basically weird fairy tale stuff. And after seeing that, I saw one of those like one minute long travel viral video things on my timeline that was Efteling. So I thought it would be a nice Christmas present for Az to take them to this 80s fantasy theme park. Cause I have never heard anything more Az in my entire life. Come on! Let's go to adventure! <laughs> it's a quill writes! It's a quill's writing! Really cute. This it, feels really magical. It really does. <laughs> yep, there we go. Yes, I thought you were. This is immediately incredible. This is just like the back of a building. This looks like something out of the Tenth Kingdom. Which I don't know like... if I've ever seen the Tenth Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> is that a problem? <laughs> you would, you would love it. You would find parts of it infuriating. <laughs> um, so this theme park is in the Netherlands, but if you're visiting from a primarily English-speaking country like I am. Canada! They had maps in many different languages. They had English translations for a lot of things, so we could get around the park. Not every single thing has English translations, though. I know, but I'm very scared drink water in Dutch. I mean, poison. How's it taste? Like a pond. Drink water in Dutch does not mean poison. Geen means don't. So don't drink the water! Okay, in my defense, in the viral video I saw, there were people drinking from fountains, so I assumed there were fountains you could drink from, and this was the only one with a sign, so I was like, oh, maybe this is the drinking fountain. Also, uh, my IQ is not high. You know, I joked about you not leaving, but I don't think I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a camera the F1 app so you can see all the rides and the waiting time. There's right. one somebody said we should do to avoid the, like, first to avoid the line. Uh -huh. So the first dark ride we went on, I know the English translation is Dream Flight. Droomvlucht. Oh! Droomvlucht. Droomvlucht. Yeah, I think we did okay missing the wait line. Um, thank you to everyone on Instagram that warned me about the long wait times for Dream Flight. We really lucked out. We went on a Friday and there was zero line. We went again the next day. This was not the case. We were in that line for like two hours. There's a big difference between a weekday and a weekend here. But I've never seen anyone outside of Disney World consider the line as yeah. a part of the ride of the in the experience. same way. The door knockers. <laughs> If that ain't a shout out. <laughs> they recently updated Peter Pan's flight in Disney World so that you go through the nursery and you like play with Shadow. This guy's still just in line. These lines have not yet graduated very much from their origins, which were taken directly from designs for herding cattle. You look so beautiful. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. I'm actually scared. This is a lot darker than I was expecting it to be. See, is this okay? I don't... I, oh, I'm thinking about Pinocchio. Oh my god. Ass, I'm actually scared right now. Okay, okay. Oh my god. What have we done? What is gonna happen? Ass, oh, right, what have we done? Oh, okay, okay. That's more pleasant than I thought it was gonna be. Wow. We're going on it twice. Why is this? <laughs> So the way the ride 
inside was set up is our little cart would just go around this huge room full of this stuff. They're, they're like, they're giving the bear a manicure. That's... That looks like the scene from The Dark Crystal. It does. The podlings. Cheyenne, are you okay? I will never be okay again. It's beautiful. <laughs> we went on this ride like three times in total, and the room was so big that every time I noticed something different. That's you! <laughs> And what I love about it is it just went from fairy tale land. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. To like sci fi and synth. This is what I see every time I close my eyes. You know, I'm not fully convinced they didn't make this ride for Azrai. <laughs> Yes, we may, honey. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Whoa! 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 It's a small world. I knew what to expect. Yeah. I don't know what to expect. It's been so long since I've been on a ride and didn't know every second of it my heart could do. And look, here we are at the gift shop. I'm gonna be a baseline a little bit happier for the rest of my life. <laughs> Sorry. They did take a photo. <laughs> oh no. An art for the park. Oh my god. All right, as get going. So the largest section of this park was called the Fairy Tale Forest. Scorpius Sprok Jesbos. Sprok Jesbos. Sprok Jesbos. And it was literally like a little hike through fairy tale land. Spiegelje, spiegelje, aan de wand. Green Park nerd moment. These are speakers. No. This makes me really uncomfortable and I can't imagine why. <laughs> this must be like seeing your own dead body. Yeah, well. This... I'm no longer convinced that you're gonna die ever. Yeah, I think your soul will just <laughs> be absorbed in the Snow White of Efteling. Yes, just wait for your next vessel. Do you ever just cosplay Snow White, but like a really obscure specific version of Snow White? That's what's, hap that's what's happening here. You deserved to nap for years until your boy comes to wake you up with a smooch and a vanilla latte. Can we keep him? He's my son. <laughs> It's Geppetto's cottage. I think this is a Pinocchio situation. Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> the eye the eye opens. <laughs> it's a big pup. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for the dark ride. If they're gonna be like this, I've never been more ready for anything in my entire life. Including being born. <laughs> oh it's just a, it's a display. Are they allowed to do this song? It's the high diddly dee, an actor's life for me. It's very similar. Like, you could sing the lyrics to this song. Did you see the thing that came out of that the jack in the box? No! Oh! Ooh, who's that? So <laughs> There's bubbles! Jean is the largest snake. It was so interesting to see the displays of not only the fairy tales that I recognized, but also ones that were not quite as popular in the States or Canada. Oh, <laughs> there you go. This is what I want my house to look like in the future. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Little cottage. 
You deserve a cottage. This was one of the places where there were English translations for the fairy tales, so I got to learn about some that I didn't really know about before. Who is he? <gasps> he long. Is that? What is that? Oh, he's a mess. <laughs> oh, this is the magic club that taught the dishonest innkeeper a lesson. <gasps> Oh, the old lady was very ill. The vain and spoilt girl slipped out to dance in her new red shoes. And it ends with a bearded soldier who cut the shoes from her feet with a sword. Once free, the shoes danced up on the streets out of the town. Giving it the old razzle dazzle. A little match girl? Oh man, they're they're gonna do that? <laughs> Um, is that the one that like dies? Yeah. Yeah. In a bitterly cold evening, the last evening of the old year, a poor little girl sat huddled between two houses. Her bare feet were red and blue from the cold. In her old apron, she carried a large number of matches, but no one had bought anything from her all day, and she dared not go home. Could she strike a match to warm her hands? Scratch, the little flame burned. It gave her a little warm feeling. She saw a warm stove, a festive table laid splendidly in steaming roast goose, a beautiful decorated Christmas tree with thousands of candles, and finally, the dear grandmother she missed so much. And that's where it ends. That is... That's not how it ends. I assumed that's not how it ends. They're gonna do that. This was also huge, by the way. I think on the first day we spent like two hours in there, and then the second day we discovered a section we didn't even know existed. There's smoke coming out of the gosh dang There's chimney. a butterfly. The commitment to immersion is incredible. Go, go explore. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Just like, whatever you're expecting. Are you kidding me? I love it. Welcome to your life. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's beautiful. You're beautiful. No! I'm the potion seller. Are we allowed to vlog this? This is... The greatest. Oh, I don't care for it. Dressed up. So we just got to the candy house for Hansel and Gretel, and it smells like candy. Syrup fountain. Gretel, why are you just sitting there? My allowance will be twice as much. I'll get back, witch. I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. Wait, can you say that one more time, Lola? What's he saying? Which means? You got it. There's a room where the lights won't find you. You will be kicked out of the fight. It's boy. It's long boy. in front of the troll. Apparently, if you turn it to your star sign, he will tell you your fortune. Yeah, that's a movie. Yeah. Well, goodbye.
Bye, Cheyenne. <laughs> Bye-bye. <It's been> fun. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> Here's why. Castle? Yeah. So one of the most popular rides at Efteling is called Symbolica. I think it's... I think that's the same. <laughs> in both English and Dutch. It's the ride inside the big castle centerpiece of the park. It's a dark ride where you can choose three different paths. The king is always right. He has no... This is one of the dark rides that understandably didn't have a full English translation. But during the scene, they would say things in English sometimes, and you kind of got an idea of what the story is. So you got this guy, Pardus, who is basically the mascot of Efteling. You can get pictures taken with him and stuff. He's a little troublemaker that doesn't obey the rules. How to walk through the palace of fantasy? No, 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 obey the rules. Thank and the king. And using his magic, he's gonna take us all to the palace of fantasy. Trachtede, open Let's do it. What's happening? Hi. What's happening with this? Oh. <laughs> oh, is that what we're sitting in? Oh, maybe. Yeah, so for this ride, you can either choose the music tour, the heroes tour, or the treasure tour. Let's do the music one. How about that? Music one? Music one? Yeah. Oh, so we just choose one of these lines here? Oh, you press the buttons. While we were going by, it felt like the corks were whizzing by us. Pancakes! He looks so angry!
in the big frame. Oh, that was wonderful. Get absolutely blitzed in the gift shop at some point. Okay, so what'd you get, Cheyenne? A steamed chicken bun. A steamed chicken bun. It's, it's so good. Yeah? I know that whole entire maze Where, my head. Oh, it's a maze? <laughs> this is clearly not meant for adults. I want it taller than the maze. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found a telescope. <laughs> oh, it's like a kaleidoscope. Fabio, you got caught. Baron, which is one of the few roller coasters in Efteling. So you lock your stuff in, and then it's a bracelet. And I was expecting, like, just a roller coaster. But after we locked our cameras away for safekeeping, we get into the line, and there's this whole presentation giving us a backstory for this roller coaster. Ghosts showed up! No one on Instagram warned you as a ghost. The Wailing Women are my people. Yeah, the ghosts were called the Wailing Woman, and we were like, hey. I relate to them on a spiritual <laughs> level. <laughs> Look at the inside. Oh, we gotta eat in there. Into the cave with you. Oh no. Oz. Oh no. You're gonna love it here. <laughs> oh wow. Are you okay, honey? There's the whole playground. Let's eat lunch in here. Eat and seating over here. Oh, that's cool. I guess they sponsor the WWF. Okay, Az, I'm gonna go down this slide real quick, okay? Okay. Dark in there though. Minis. Minis? Miniatures. So this was the point where I was like, I nailed the Christmas present. Because Az loves minis. Those are some big miniatures. Cry. Are you okay? Wow. Oh wow, look at the little train. Here. <gasps> oh, and they have a little lightning strike over there. Okay, so this part. <laughs> How do I, um... So there is this ride called Monsieur Candy Bell. All right, off we go into the boiling pots of water. And I thought it was gonna be a lot like the teacup ride at Disney World. It's a very special button I think it's called M. 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 T. <laughs> it wasn't quite like that. Oh no. So I'll pull and you push. Ready, yes. Uh-huh. This is very difficult. <laughs> 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 
So we're back at the hotel now, and Cheyenne has looked up the English lyrics of Monsieur Cannibal. Please tell me how this song ends, Cheyenne. Well, first the traveler comes along and tries to get out of being eaten by cannibals, and it's not working. So he pulls out some porn. <laughs> he gets out of it by showing them porn, and then the chief of the cannibals takes him to his harem, and then the traveler doesn't want to leave anymore. That's that's it! The last chorus is Mr. Cannibal, I don't want to leave. Mr. Cannibal, I would rather die. Are you okay? So it's been a year, I've been to therapy, and I had some amazing sensitivity watchers help me out with this part. So we're going to talk about this because we need to talk about this. This was a racist caricature of a black person, even if that was not the original intention, and I don't think it should be there. In the description, you can find some resources about anti-black caricatures, an article about the composer of the song, articles about how the ride has caused controversy from day one, in 1989. Articles stating that there have been petitions to take it down. And an article about how Efteling has removed racist stereotypes in the past, which means they have the capability to do it again. I was scared at first to address this seriously because I know that Efteling means so much to so many people. I got a lot of messages from a lot of viewers in the Netherlands saying they were so excited for the Efteling video because they grew up with Efteling. It is a wonderful, magical place. In fact, I spend most of this video showcasing its best features. This is not one of them. And should my viewers decide they want to buy a ticket for this park themselves, I want all of my viewers to be able to experience this park equally. So the statue is just not worth it. So Az and I had such a grand old time yesterday, this was supposed to be an off day, you know, in case it rained yesterday, and so we could take one day in our lives to, you know, just relax and do nothing. Stay in bed, maybe edit. Guess where we are again? Also using some costuming that I brought, I tried to, like, Efteling bound the Snow White in the glass box. I yelled that a little loud. <laughs> so this park had you know, their token spooky ride. <laughs> Come on! Spook slot! Let's go on adventure! I am not a brave woman, if that is not apparent at this point. Never said I was. The stuff that's supposed to be whimsical and nice in this park is terrifying to me. I don't know if I want to go in. I'm gonna get some close ups of the gravestones. I'm ready for ghosts. I will judge a park by its ghost-themed attractions. <laughs> are we supposed to go in there? <laughs> so that, are we supposed to go in there, was very genuine. Az's camera is very good in low light. You can't really see in the video, but that hallway was pitch black. What do? I'm getting my phone out. I had to turn on the flashlight on my phone to see where I was going, and that's the way it's meant to be. <laughs> yep. That was not, they didn't forget to pay the electricity bill. They want you to walk into this pitch is a black darkness. Yes. I can actually see better through the camera. I see skulls. There's skulls, good, excellent. Oh, they move. They say hi. I'm sorry, but like, he's gorgeous. It's like, it's harder to see on the camera, but the paint and the details on him are beautiful. And the sound is perfect. You look like a ghost. You got the flower crown. Can I turn this up any brighter? There we go. I can't see, oh gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh look at the ceiling. It's Satan. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Wait, I'm sorry, is that a- Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is a ride. 
It's a ride. It's a ride. Wait, this was just the line for a ride. We don't have to go. I think we do. The line started out with Satan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm already depersonalized, so I'm ready to go. Oh my god. <laughs> Momo. You know what, baby? Let's save this one to later. You wanna? Yeah, we, we'll go later. I don't feel good right now. I don't feel proud of myself. I do not think I have honored my country by walking out of a ride that European children are excited about. <laughs> We still want to go on, <laughs> on the way out, maybe. Yeah, sure. Or maybe we should go on it sooner and end with something more lighthearted. You don't want to do it at all. <laughs> I live my life where I'm like, do it for the vlog, yeah, video, fun times. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> so we didn't end up going on that ride. And I do, in fact, regret it. Why am I the way that I am? If we ever go back to Efteling, though, watch out. Watch out, Satan. This girl, this girl right here is gonna ride you. You ride. <laughs> what am I listening to, uh, the, the synth. Why is this coming out of an ATM? Maybe, maybe they're trying to tell us that money is the true evil. <laughs> this is like right out of It Follows, the most terrifying horror film I've ever seen in my adult life. And I've, I'm, I'm at home. Are you supposed to take this out? Come here. It wiggles. <laughs> I think you're supposed to pull it. I'm not strong. Up. <laughs> Maybe they replaced it with the magic wand thing. So we did what any full grown adult people would do. We immediately went to go buy the magic wand thingy. Hey, but there were so many dolls in the 80s that had like the soft body. Oh yeah, like, true. Hard faces. I never thought about that. This is, this is me <laughs> seeing everything in this park. <laughs> okay, Cheyenne, can you explain what this is, please? Uh, it's a magic wand. It's the scepter of... Partus or Pentu Partus? Partus, Partus? The Jester. And there are magical things around the park that you can activate with their interactive magical scepter. Uh. I am a giant child. <laughs> Here we go! Let's go make things speak Dutch to us. <laughs> Do you feel powerful? So powerful. <laughs> are you okay? I will never not be okay again. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. I've got the power of God and enemy on my side! <laughs> okay, let's go find that treasure chest. <laughs> yeah, it's about what I thought was gonna happen. Do you have to turn it on? There were magic words, weren't there? when you open the evil synth box. Maybe next time. <gasps> Is air coming out? Yeah. If it weren't breezy, my hair would go Ooh. So this ride was called Villa Volta. Again. Come on! <laughs> we didn't really know what to expect, and this was one of the rides that had almost no English in it. from 
from what we could gather was there was a house and it was cursed. I think this guy the was a pirate at one point. Look the house. It is an alcoholic. A little word from the wise, though, if you don't speak Dutch, at some point in the narration, they must say, stand clear of the doors, because me and Az were chilling by the door, and we turn around, and the entire room is just looking at us two feet apart from us, and when we kind of figure it out, and we rush to the group, they laugh at us, and then the doors open, it was a whole thing, but yeah, stand clear of the doors. So as we sit down in what are essentially pews with handlebars, still confused as to what this ride is, the music kicks in. The first few seconds, where the room looked like it was standing still, mm -hmm. but I guess everything was moving, like correlating with one another. So like I could feel the gravity shifting. Yes. <gasps> no, 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 oh. been on a ride that attempted that illusion. I've been to the mystery hole in West Virginia. Oh, no. What? I'm gonna vomit! It's just one of those rooms where it's like slanted but the walls are like compensate for it so when you pour water in a thing like the water goes up you know what I mean? That was really cool. That was a lot cooler than I was I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> That's how you make people puke, and I see a fairy over there. <gasps> Let's go see her. Yeah, it's, it definitely felt like a curse and not... It was very Alice in Wonderland. Yes, 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 yes. Look at these fairies. Oh, they have like ghosts oh, yeah. up their butt. <laughs> Are they like wind-up toys? Every piece of music here feels so very thought out and considered. I haven't heard one piece of music that hasn't kind of moved me in some way, like the the music box fairies. Like that really like struck a struck a little chord in, in my sparky little heart. <laughs> is that there's fairies everywhere and all the fairies are in flower crowns <laughs> and many small Dutch children keep on smiling at me and their parents keep on pointing and both of them are speaking in a language I don't understand one girl came up to me and I took a picture with her I didn't question it I didn't know what they were saying to me but her mom pointed a camera at me and I just smiled and held my skirt like this and I think everything was fine don't break a child's heart. That's yeah. how you go. And so then, something we noticed on the weekend when the crowds were huge. There's video. Oh, video. Oh, yeah. Oh, video. Oh, so was there were performers, <laughs> not everywhere, but places where there would be huge lines. Like there was a lot of performers outside Drum Drumflucht. Drumflucht. Oh, 
Kunnen jullie dan ook dansen tijdens het filmen? Coach, can I dance in film? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, that's that's the question. Yeah, it's a very easy dance. Oh, it's a waltz. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the flower lady is going to dance for us. A waltz. I want to die. It's, uh, uh, everyone can dance with her if, if you want. Do you want to dance with her? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here we go. this way. Oh look, it's the... It's the That's a broken foot. That's anatomically incorrect. <laughs> Your little guy is glowing. Did you notice that? Uh, oh, wait. What does that mean? It's like sting. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. Try waving it around, maybe. What do you say? <gasps> this is... Amazing. This is what I wanted to do with my life once upon a time. So one of the most magical things to happen to us was me and Az were just chilling. I'm not aesthetic. You are. You get in there. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and this very tiny car drives <laughs> through and we're like, oh, how whimsical. And then the drivers come up to us. <laughs> Oh, hello! Do we have to give you money for the taxi? No, but it does cost something. <gasps> okay, what? what? does it cost? Time. Okay. If you've got have, time, I have okay. tons. <gasps> Too much. Tickets. Free tickets. <gasps> uh, <laughs> taxi, 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 taxi for a romantic tourist. <laughs> 
Compliment General Ross on the house of Loco. Thank you very much. You have to come get your ticket stamped. Oh, yes. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we heading? I don't know, anywhere. Uh, Symbolica? Symbolica, maybe? yes, let's go to Symbolica. Okay, romantic to, to romantic. <laughs> uh, Danke, what is it? Danke. Danke well. Danke well. Danke well. Danke well. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, oh. Are we heavy? <laughs> Goodbye! Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> Is that quality that? Oh, no. That's the best. 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 <laughs> we, we spent almost two hours in here yesterday, and I don't think we ever actually saw this part. We didn't. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, yes, yes. Mind your head, mind your head. <laughs> 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 on the dream flight ride. I'm gonna live the rest of my life here in this adorable little fairy tale village that looked like it came from Stardust. Hey neighbors! Yeah! I've never felt like more of an Instagrammer than with this shot right now. <laughs> so while I'm, while I'm... I am filming you, you don't have to film yourself. I want to film myself. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll turn around. Is that good? I've never been more consistently blown away by the experience of a theme park that was not Disney World or Disneyland. Sometimes good and sometimes... You know, maybe they should reconsider some of these choices, but I would say that it's it's on par, and in some cases, maybe it does some things that Disney World could could pick up on. What do you have to say to your loyal subjects, Princess Cheyenne? Leave me alone. <laughs> I would never betray Disney World like that unless I really felt that it was true. It's a different mood, for sure, but the technology of the rides, the park experience, the attention to detail at this park is about 65 years old. Because all of the ride technology is incredibly up to date. I haven't once been on a ride and felt like it was janky or that they just did some cosmetic updates on a 65 year old ride, you know? Well, there, there are definitely rides that are dated in concept. Monsieur Caliba. But concept only. The actual execution of the ride and the technology behind it are very impressive. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, it's cute. So this is where at the end of the day they usually have a big water show. Cue B-roll that we got yesterday, but we missed it today. <laughs> That's okay. We saw it yesterday, and we just took the time to enjoy it instead of vlogging it. But trust me, it happens right here. <laughs> And now it is the time to do, Cheyenne. Go to the gift store! I was gonna say go home, but yeah, gift store. Oh, I'm beginning to feel like we missed out big time because this Ravelane attraction was closed. I, I'm beginning to think that many of the park-specific characters come from that attraction, whatever it is. And I have to see it. Now what are we gonna do, Cheyenne? We're gonna go home. We're gonna go home. But did you have a good time at Efteling? So good. This was, it was, it's like somebody went to Disney World and said, no, this isn't Cheyenne enough. <laughs> no, I had a very good time. It was a very, it's a very interesting place. Yeah. And, uh, 
was starting to make the video better. So overall, I very much enjoyed my time at Efteling. While there are things that I think could be changed, I had a lot of fun. And not only was I very happy to document this trip, not only for me and for you guys, but also it makes my heart so happy to see as so happy. And now it's immortalized and we can do it forever. I love my friends. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Let's go home. <laughs> Such good YouTubers! Oh, so professional! Wow! <laughs> Goodbye! 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 Goodbye, viewers! Remember to subscribe to the Azrai. Oh. If, if you like his content, you can follow him on Instagram too. Oh, a Twitter and a Facebook. And, a TikTok. and if you really, really like his, his content and want to support it and see more of it, you can check him, him out on Patreon. He has a lot of really cool exclusive things his patrons and it helped him make videos like this one and go on cool adventures that you guys get to see and share with him but but this adventure was funded by momo's patrons because she oh, yeah. has a patron oh, yeah. that you could support if you like I her do. and and you want to see more adventures from her like oh. this and she also has instagram and, and you got you you're here you know you know this already she's got instagram and twitter and everything and as right really pretty <laughs> and talented and everybody likes him she's really nice Leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing construction right now? In an effort to compete with the beautiful Momo O'Brien, <laughs> I have put some plants on my head that I found on the ground. I don't have very good communication skills. Hey, That's not good for you, man. What are you mainlining? Shut up, you can quit whenever you want. I'm not even sure if these are supposed to be children. Oh, yeah, but they're dressed like little English schoolboys. <laughs> Let's not pretend a drunk child is the craziest thing we've seen today. Bug friend.